There we have the ladies and gentlemen, our winning ladies for the special and minor awards. Thank you so much ladies and congratulations for winning those awards. Gentlemen, before we move forward to the next segment of our competition, there is another award that the creative team for the Mutia Digos 2019 would like to bestow. And the uh, Miss Creative Team for the Mutia Digos 2019 is uh, no other than Mutia Nam Barangay Rupara. Gentlemen, our best in creative team for Mutia Nantigos 2019, Mutia Nambarangay Rupara. Congratulations!
Ladies and gentlemen, we will now narrow the fields of 23 gorgeous candidates down to 10. That only means that our candidates are facing the first cut. That's right, Darren. Ladies and gentlemen, here are the results from our panel of judges based on the scores that they have awarded on the different rounds of the competition. Let's find out who exactly among these 23 incredible women would have the chance to move forward to our next round. In random order, now we begin our top 10 with Mutya Na Barangay Dawis On this Mutya Na Vigos 2019, I will be a good role model to the youth, especially to the deaf youth, by doing good with my studies. Now, let's have a hand for Barangay Soong! I would like to take this opportunity to promote my advocacy, which is financial education, not just to all the decennials, but especially to the unfortunate ones. Ladies and gentlemen, joining our three ladies is no other than Mutia ng Barangay! Mutia ng Barangay, Ipit! If I will be crowned as Mutia ng Ligos 2019, I will use this platform to introduce my advocacy, which is Dati Kabatan Unang Legosenyo. Alright! In the number 5 spot, now is Mutia ng Barangay Tulana. It will be a great opportunity for me to promote my advocacy, which is tourism in Lega City, and be an ambassador of good deeds. Ladies and gentlemen, five slots down, five more to go, and now we will unveil another qualifier. Congratulations to you, you are still on this competition. Mutia ng Barangay! Mutia ng Barangay, Rufaran! If I will be crowned as Mutia ng Digos 2019, I will do my very best and fulfill my responsibility to make the people of Digos home. Also still in the competition is Mutiana Barangay Aplaya. I will encourage all ladies to give importance to the essence of their community because that is something that no one can take away from us. Ladies and gentlemen, joining our top 10 is no other than Mutia ng Barangay Mati! I will encourage not just the Digesenios, but all the people that we should love, respect, and take care of each other. Take your position now, Mutia ng Barangay San Jose! is to showcase what the city of Eagles has to offer to represent the people by putting a good example of what a true brother to the family is going to be. Ladies and gentlemen, we have 14 ladies left behind, but we will only announce one more name or one more barangay. Congratulations! 
because you're still part of the competition. You will complete our top 10. Mugya ng barangay! Mugya ng barangay? Actually, it's Mugya ng barangay. Kapatutan! Crowning your head symbolizes not just an honor, beauty, and but rather a responsibility to be the voice that matters. It has to be Once again, ladies and gentlemen, Igos Senyos, let's give a huge round of applause for our top 10 finalists. For our 10 lovely ladies, a huge congratulations. They have moved on one round closer to the crowd. One of them will become the next Mugiana Tigos 2019. But of course, ladies and gentlemen, this is not yet the end of the competition. And on our next segment, we will test the intellect of our contestants of our top 10 as they will try to draw intellectual opinions about questions which will be conveyed by no other than our judges themselves. Now just to be clear to all of us here present, the questions are all from Digo Senos who posted their questions at the Digo City page and carefully and were carefully chosen by the pageant committee. Candidates, remember that each of you will be given or will only be given 60 seconds to respond. When you hear this sound, that means that your time is up. That is right. Well, with that mechanics mentioned, ladies and gentlemen, we are ready for our first round of question and answer. And so let's begin with our first judge, Ms. Leia Mayo Luna, who will be picking off a contestant. And then, of course, she will convey the question now. Good evening. My question is for Motia Zone 2. All right, Motia ng Barangay Zone 2. You will be the first to express your opinion on the question that our judge will be giving now. Hi, good evening. good evening. Okay, your question is from Jason Ramos. What do you think is the most effective way to fight discrimination of all sorts? Acceptance or education? Again, what do you think is the most effective way to fight discrimination of all sorts? Acceptance or education? Discrimination is and will never be okay. We have been facing discrimination, not just for hundreds of years, but for thousands of years. I believe that I will use my voice to raise awareness about this issue and inculcate proper education in line with this issue. Because I believe that there will come a time where discrimination wouldn't be a problem. There will come a time where a color will only be a color. A gender will only be a gender. A weight of a person will only be a way for the person. I believe that everyone should respect and accept our differences. Because our differences is what makes us unique. We are all children of God. And we are all made equally with His grace. Thank you. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, that was Mutya Nang Barangay Zone 2. Alright, from our second judge, one of them will give the question. But first, they need to select the candidate that will be answering their question. Good evening, everyone. The candidate we pick is... The candidate we pick is Miss Leila Rose from Barangay de Donkey. Ladies and gentlemen, our second judge will be asking our mutya ng barangay tulangan. Right, good evening. Miss Leila, are you fine? How are you doing? How are you tonight? I'm fine. Alright, this question is from 
Digusenyu Jim Paz. As a beauty queen and a spokesperson, how can you promote Digo City to the tourists and investors to the visit the city? Again, as a beauty queen and a spokesperson, how can you promote Digo City to the tourists and investors to visit our city? As a Digusenyu, I am proud to say that I was born and raised here in Digos. I can say that we have a good governance and leadership and we have other projects such as environment and, and other things to do to improve our hometown which is Digo City. So all I can say is that we have a good hometown Digo City to live. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, Udiyan ng Barangay Tulangan. We're going now to our third judge, and she is Miss Catherine Samadillo. Now, Miss Catherine will be picking the name of the contestant, of course, or the Barangay, your brother. Go ahead now. Uh, from Barangay So. All right, let us now welcome Mugya Nam Barangay Suong. All right, let's try to hear what her answer will be to this question. Uh, first of all, I'd like to congratulate you. You're a great so winner. Okay. So the question is from Vince Frederick. If you were given a chance or privilege to become mayor of Degos, what would be your first priority to improve Degos City? And why? I would like to add more infrastructures in our Digo City because more infrastructures means more opportunities for employment, healthcare, and education. And it is very important for the growth in our city because Digo City is our home, and home should be the treasure chest of living. Thank you. There you have it, Digo Senyas, once again, Mutya Nam Barangay Suong. Thank you so much for that answer. Now let's proceed to our fourth judge, Miss Kay Fanlo. All right, Miss Kay, the barangay or the contestant? This question is for contestant number two, Barangay Pit. Ladies and gentlemen, we now have our Mutya ng Barangay Ikpi. Hello, good evening. Good evening. This question is solicited by the Nico Senyos from Bangu Nusrevi. My question is, as a woman, how would you feel if a transgender woman is using the same comfort group with you. Thank you. If a trans woman using the same comfort zone, comfort room for me, is it okay? Because for me, gen gender equality is a right, and I am in favor of such an equality bill. For four decades, LGBT community has been oppressed and have been dealt with discrimination and just injustice. For simply choosing to express themselves with authenticity and for loving openly and brave enough to demand equality. So I believe that it is, we should always remember that the tolerance is no longer appropriated and acceptance is a new language of love. So we may all speak it. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, that was Mariana Baragay Ipit and now we are moving to our fifth judge, Ms. J. Darren Ginovisa. Now, Sorry, go hard for Mutia Aplaya. All right, Mutia Nang Barangay Aplaya. Take your spot here at the center stage. And let's hear your question. Hello. Congratulations for making it uh, to the top. Uh, to the top. Uh, Thank you so much for letting me. So this question is from Bea Yamas. So the question is, how do you plan? How do you plan in managing the responsibilities 
of the crowd with the demands of your current life. Again, how do you plan on managing the responsibilities of the crowd with the demands of your current life? Now actually, being your mutiya ang Digas 2019 will not just measure on your physical appearance. I believe that being your mutiya ang Digas also have responsibilities and duties. For me, I believe that mutiya ang Digas responsibility is willing to cooperate, participate with all the activities given by the city of Digas and which it is for the betterment of Digas cities at the same time to all Digas cities. And also, yes, your mutiya ang Digas is willing to inspire and to be a good role model especially nowadays we are facing a lot of discrimination. And I believe that if the Mutia and Digos have that kind of mentality, which is her responsibility, and I believe she deserves to be the Miss Digos. And lastly, I believe that I am her. Thank you. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Mutia number, Raya Raya. Thank you so much for a very confident response. Now, let's up. But I'm sorry. Let's have our next judge, Ma'am Joanne Cordina Sandique. Ma'am? My question is for Miss San Jose. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning, Barangay San Jose. Well, it is now her turn to convey her opinion. But of course, we need to hear the question coming from Miss. Going in now. Hi, how are you? <laughs> You'll be fine. Here is the question. This question is from Althea Shannon D. As Luciano Digos, do you believe that we can achieve a fully developed city of Digos without destroying the environment? Industrialization brings positive and negative effects. If that, if I will be the Mutia Nandigos, I will um, secure not only our mother nature, but also the lives of our Digasenios. If that would happen, it would be easy for me to, it will be easy for me to invite foreign investors to invest in our beloved hometown. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, Mutia ng Barangay San Jose. And now we're going back to our first judge, Malaya May Luna. My question is for Mutia ng Kapatagan. Alright ladies and gentlemen, let us now welcome Mutia ng Barangay Kapatagan to take her place here in front to answer a question from our judge. Hello, Mr. Patagan. Here's your question, and this is from Vani Ordaneza. Are women truly empowered today? Again, are women truly empowered today? Women these days are definitely empowered. We are able to stand amidst all challenges. And I believe being a Mutiyan ng Digas, I will also serve an inspiration to all the women in the world because we are a woman and we are a catalyst of change. We should showcase everyone that it is not only the voice who has the power, but we also have capacities and skills that we that would enable us to stand firm amidst the test of times. Thank you. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, Mutiyan ng Barangay Kapataga. Now let's go to our next judge, Miss Catherine. Miss Catherine Samodillo. Alright, once again, Miss Catherine Samodillo to pick a contestant. Who will be answering the question, ma'am? The question goes to candidate from Rupara. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Catherine Pick Putiana Rupara. 
So this time, let's take a check about the opinion of Lutian and Lutian about the question, which will be conveyed by Miss Catherine. Go ahead, Miss. The question is from Lila Lingling Adolfo Dineros. You spend most of your years here in Vigos. What has changed and what can you do to make positive changes? I repeat. You've spent most of your years here in Vigos. What has changed and what can you do to make positive changes? What has been changed is that the cleanliness that we can see every area of Vigos City because, because of the new government. And only thing I can add on to change Vigos City is to improve the respect and acceptance for as we all know, it is one of the most rampant issues in our society. Thank you. which or to whom she will convey a question or raise a question and of course she will pick up and she's already done with that go ahead now this question is for Mutiak ng Barangay Mati all right ladies and gentlemen let us now welcome Mutiak ng Barangay Mati to answer a question from Miss Catherine all right now the question is from our Diego Senor, Ms. Divine Alexa. Um, the question is, what is your opinion on the active and uneducated way of using social media where everyone can post and humiliate someone and goes viral? Hello? Social media. Social media is a tool for breaking barriers and building bridges. It helps people to resolve conflicts and be closer together. However, many have chosen to add fuel to the fire present in social media by promoting hatred and hatred and ignorance. So we should learn to reconcile ourselves to our true purpose in this world, which is to love and to take care of each other and use social media to promote peace and harmony. Because after all, the way to peace is peace itself. Thank you so much. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, good young Barangay Mati. Thank you so much for that question, for that response to the question. And of course, we have Miss Joanne Cordina Sandique to ask, I guess, the last question. All right, and uh, I believe. This will be given to Mutyana Barangay Dawis. Ladies and gentlemen, Mutyana Barangay Dawis is the first ever candidate of Mutyana Digos to join who is hearing impaired. And because of that, in our question and answer portion with her, we are accompanied her or here by her interpreter. Ma? Okay, Miss. Hi. Miss Dawis, this question is from Isabel Lia. Nowadays, young people are active in attending protests against different issues that our country is facing. Do you believe that raising protests can better things and can help on the progress of our country? Why and why not? Or why not, rather? Again, nowadays, young people are active in attending protests against different issues that our country is facing. Do you believe that raising protests can better things and can help on the progress of our country? Why or why not? Thank you for the question. I would like to say to everyone that 
I would like to say to everyone that it does not help the government. The government, if you want to help, you stand and support the people, especially the poor. You give the government should give building food and must accept. Death. You should make laws so that we can gain access, inclusion, especially our FSL law. It is very important for us. I believe the government, the people. That's it. That's it. Thank you. Thank you so much, Lydia. The fact that that was so inspiring and deep. That's true, Lydia. Ladies and gentlemen, that concludes our first round of question and answer portion. Thank you so much, ladies, for doing so well. All right, Madam Sayri, I am still in awe with how inspiring that portion is. All right, now we proceed to the next segment of the competition. Yes, and you know what? Our question and answer portion is so exciting considering that those questions are actually coming from the Casandra, so thank you so much to those who also shared their thoughts so that we can make that on our question and answer portion. On the other hand, ladies and gentlemen, the Mutiana Gigos Passion Committee for 2019 raises the value of inclusivity and ensures a diverse and all-encompassing beauty pageant, highlighting that cause is the inclusion of the first ever hearing impaired contestant, and that is of course Miss Dawis Sydney Patola, again a deaf and mute candidate.
youth of today lead them to a passive lifestyle by the influence of the exposure of internet and social media. My advocacy is to urge and encourage the youth to engage in sports because sports teaches us discipline, sportsmanship, and patience, an attitude that needed for a competent youth of today. This is Rika Alamari Gobrosi, your Mutyanong Goma 2019. Ladies and gentlemen, our judges have finally selected our top five finalists. That's right, there. And of course, these women will advance to our final round, and that is our all important final question and answer portion. This is the last hurdle that our candidates have to overcome before they can take the crown Mutya Namtigos 2019. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the results are already in my head, and so let's get to it. Go ahead, Jared. First on the list, and one of the luckiest girls tonight is Mutya Nam. Barangay. Barangay Suong. Ladies and gentlemen, one lady has been unveiled. We have four more slots remaining. And one of these belong to... Congratulations, you're still part of our top five. Mutia ng Barangay. Who's your bet? Mutia ng Barangay. Congratulations, Mutia ng Barangay. Amplaya! Alright. This moment is very, very special for her because she is still on the running because she is part of the top five. Ladies and gentlemen, this moment is all about Mutya Na Barangay Contestant is to look into the many aspects of the person. 
The immediate is to look into the physical attributes of the candidates. The other is to consider artistic showmanship. And finally, the judges are looking for a candidate who can draw out intelligent opinions on things and issues that relate to everything else in our existence. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our final question and answer portion. For the information of everybody, this is so interesting, Darren. Our top five candidates will answer one same question and the rest of the finalists will be using soundproof headphones as one of the candidates will be answering that common question. Candidates, remember, each of you will be given 30 seconds to respond. When you hear the sound, that means that your time is finished. All right, Tito Senos, I guess we are set to start the competition. Are we? Tito Senos, if we are ready, make some noise. I guess we are not yet that ready. Once again, Tito Senos, if we are ready, make some noise. All right, thank you so much. Everyone is excited. I am also excited. And we want to call the contestants in accordance to the sequence that we have called them during the top five. So we are starting with Mutia Anyang Barangay Suong. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's all be quiet so that we will know this million dollar question. The common question for everyone. This is still coming from a Digosenio or a Digosenia to be particular. This question is from a brilliant woman, Miss Almira Aratan. This is the question, Mutyanang Barangay Suong. Money investment scams have become a household topic for the past few months. If you will win tonight, how will you use your title as Mutyan and Digos? to promote financial literacy to all Digo Seniors. Do I have to mention it again? Again? Money investment scams have become a household topic for the past few months. If you will win tonight, how will you use your title as Budian and Digos to promote financial literacy to all Digo Seniors? Go ahead. Financial management should be taught to the seniors to avoid investment scams because lack of money management has caused problems that have negative impact far beyond the individual. And one of the best ways to combat this financial problem that many of these people have today is to have knowledge on how to properly handle money and how to make it grow. Because your knowledge is something that no one can ever take away from you. And of course, you pair it with hard work. And financial education is one of the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, that was Mutia ng Barangay Suong. Thank you so much. Alright. The competition is getting hotter and hotter. And this time let us welcome Mutia ng Barangay Aplaya. Alright. Her headphones will now be removed. As she will now advance here in front to answer the million dollar question, no pun intended. Yes, that's right, Taryn. Of course, you do not have any idea about this. That's why we need to ask her the question. All right. Mutiana Barangaya Playa, here is the question. And once again, this question is coming from Adigosenia Miss Almira Aratan. Hi, Miss A. Here it goes. Money investment scams have become a household topic for the past few months. If you will win tonight, how will you use your title as Mutyat ng Digos to promote financial literacy to all Digosenios? Do I need to repeat it? Okay. When we talk about financial literacy, of course, it is about making decisions financially. For me nowadays, Investment schemes have been epidemic in our country, which is the Philippines, to be specific in Mindanao. For me, I am not, I have no questions in investment schemes. Even myself, I cannot deny that fact that 
I join in any investment scheme, some of the investment schemes, and I have an experience that we call pay out. For me, there is nothing wrong of joining investment schemes. If I be given a chance to be your Miss Degas 2019. All right, we heard the bell, therefore her time is finished. Thank you so much, Mutya ng Barangay Aplawa. Yes, we can hear the disgust of some of our audience, but of course, we need to abide by our mechanics. So that was already time is up. Thank you so much, guys, for understanding. Next up, we have Mutya ng Barangay Kapatagan. All right, seems that we have one of the many crowd favorites for tonight. Alright, Mutya ng Barangay Kapatagan, of course you do not know or about the question, so allow me to ask you the question. This is the common question for all of you. Money investment scams have become a household topic for the past few months. If you will win tonight, how will you use your title as Mutya ng Digos to promote financial literacy to all the decennials? Alright? This is one of the hottest bottom topic that many of us is experiencing these days. The proliferation at the same time the closure of many investment schemes. And being the crowd as your Mutia Digos 2019, you will be a catalyst of change. A torch that could illuminate the lives of many that will inspire them. As a teacher by profession, I will encourage and inculcate the minds of my students to be more financially literate because I believe